Introducing Itemit's new look. It's the same Itemit you know and love, but with a fresh new look and some changes to make your life easier. Here, we'll show you where you can find all your favorite features. Welcome to your new dashboard. At the top, there are quick access buttons to help you perform some of your key tasks, like scanning an asset's tag, searching for an asset, and adding a new asset. Underneath, you'll see a snapshot of some of your assets and a log of how many assets you have. You can click See All to go through a list of your assets. Next, there's the new map view of your assets, where you can see where all your assets are. And further down on your dashboard, you can now watch helpful short tutorial videos. Keep an eye out here for new feature videos too. And you can also purchase more asset tags straight from your phone. To scan an asset, tap the Scan button at the top of the dashboard or tap the Scan button in the middle of the menu, which is positioned for quick and easy access. It's now easier to search for your assets and add new ones too, with the Search and Add buttons at the top. When you scroll down, these features are still available in the top right of the screen, so you can quickly perform these key actions. When adding an asset, you can add a name, description and your own serial number. If you leave the serial field blank, Itemit will auto-generate a unique serial number for you. Notice too, the T icon on the right-hand side of the fields. This is our new text recognition feature. If you're tired of typing in long serial numbers, you can now scan the serial number and Itemit will use text recognition to detect the number instead of you typing it. Next is your asset list. Before, your homepage was the asset list in full. Now you can see a snippet of your list on the dashboard and can see your full list by tapping See All. Why have we changed this? Because it's not a good use of time for you to have to scroll through your asset list. Instead, you should either use the search bar to search for the asset you're looking for or tap the Scan button to scan the Assets tag instead. This is much more efficient and will save you a lot of time. From here, you can also tap to view just your tagged assets, untagged assets, assets you've seen that day, and assets you haven't. In the top right of the screen, you can tap the Map button to see where all your assets are on a map. You can choose here whether you see the assigned address of your assets or their last seen address instead. Your asset profiles look almost identical to before. With a few changes to freshen them up, you can still add, edit, and view all your asset's unique information from its profile, including important reminders such as inspection dates, make and manufacturer information, tag your asset and book it in advance. To tag an asset, simply tap the Add button in the Tag section and scan the QR code or barcode using your device's camera. You'll notice that the last seen location also gets updated, including who scanned the asset and when. This is updated every time you or one of your colleagues scan any asset. Before, most other features were tucked away in the menu, but now you'll see you have extra tabs at the bottom to quickly organize your assets and keep on top of any alerts. On the Organize tab, you can manage your collections and locations as well as users and contacts. When you click through to each feature, you can edit collection and location profiles and use the Quick Add and Audit features. And for your users and contacts, click through to assign assets to your team and add new users. Collections are categories or folders you can put assets into, and as such, assets can be in multiple collections. With locations, on the other hand, as in real life, your assets can only ever be in one location, meaning that if you change an asset's location, it'll automatically be removed from the previous one. Users are your colleagues that have a login and can access Itemit. Contacts are just for your benefit, so you can record assigning assets to people without them needing access to Itemit themselves. You can also book and check out assets to users and contacts too. In the Alerts tab, you can see all reminders and issues for your assets. For your reminders, you can tap to view just your expiring soon or due reminders instead of all and you can choose to see only those reminders on assets assigned to you. To view which asset a reminder is attached to, simply click on the reminder to view the asset's profile in full. You can also see all open and resolved issues and those on assets assigned to you. 
there's a new menu tab where you'll find anything else you're looking for, including how to switch workspaces, change your default workspace, log out, and manage your settings. If you haven't checked out the default scan settings, then you should really take a look. Here, you can choose what the behavior is when you scan a tag associated to one of your items, collections, or locations. This can either be just to show the profile page or to save you time by launching some of your favorite features instead. For example, with collections and locations, you can set the default scan to Quick Add. This means when you scan a locations tag, Quick Add is launched and you can rapidly scan assets to update them to that new location. If you're using the RFID solution, you can manage your readers from the RFID section in the menu too. And that's it. The new and improved Itemit app, designed to make your asset tracking and management quick, easy and enjoyable.